In July 2022, Waitville Council and Wessex Archaeology undertook a series of geophysical surveys here at Pontefract Castle. We introduced that programme in an earlier video. A link to that can be found in the description below. There have been earlier geophysical surveys at the castle, most of which relied on resistivity. Here we'll be using a mix of resistivity, magnetometry and ground penetrating radar, the results of which will be discussed in this video. Here on the Bailey, earlier geophysical surveys had picked up a large mass of resistivity to my right. Our survey found that too, but it also found through the radar part of the survey this large square building and a wall stretching off to the side. We believe this to be a medieval chapel built on the site, which can be seen here in this 1560 drawing of the castle. It's not quite where we'd expect it, as it's marked as a freestanding building. We'd been hoping to find the remains of the castle's service buildings. However, it now looks like the chapel was built against the curtain wall, and we've had a first glimpse at it for several hundred years. So we're now beneath the castle's main ramparts next to the Queen's Tower. Here we use two different surveys, resistivity and magnetometry. The resistivity survey was used to look for the remains of the wall linking the Swillington Tower with the main curtain wall. We weren't able to actually survey that part of the site due to the amount of stonework in the ground. However, it did also pick up the remains of two Victorian paths coming from the tower's direction towards where I'm stood now. The magnetometry survey had higher or more varied readings right here beneath the Queen's Tower. Those readings dropped away as you headed down towards the main road, suggesting that area had been a later fill and perhaps giving the hope there is some interesting archaeology beneath our feet relating to the Civil War bombardment of the towers. So in conclusion, we set out to find the evidence of a linking wall between the Swillington Tower and the Curtain Wall. We weren't able to find that because the ground was too rocky to survey, so perhaps all that rockiness shows that there is a collapsed wall there after all. We also looked for Victorian park features and found the evidence of two paths on the outer bailey. For the Civil War, we didn't get anything concrete, but we did find an increase in the magnetometry readings beneath the Queen's Tower. Perhaps they say something about some of the buried evidence there. And finally, we went looking for the service buildings between the kitchens and the royal apartments. We actually didn't find those. Instead, we found a 15th century chapel that had been long since lost. One of the most exciting finds of the survey. We'd like to say a big thank you to the Castle Studies Trust who funded this piece of fieldwork. However, that's the end of the results this time. If you'd like to find out more about what we do, why not subscribe to the Wakefield Museums and Castles YouTube channel or click the bell icon to be notified about new videos we post there.